All right, guys, so this video is going to cover um, putting in all the lights and wiring your flatbed. Uh, we're going to do this off the pickup. That's what's recommended. It's a lot easier than doing it when it's on your pickup. First things first, I'm just going to go over the tools and um, supplies that you're going to need for this portion. So um, your bed should be powder coated or painted at this point. Um, you shouldn't be doing this until that is done. But first thing is just some basic side dikes um, for cutting wire, some electrical tape, um, some wire strippers and crimpers of some sort, um, some zip ties, a rubber mallet. This is for putting in, this is for tapping in the marker lights. If you have the, if you're using the three quarter inch insert marker lights, um, this is really handy to tap those in. So a rubber mallet, if you're putting in marker lights, um, this is two conductor wire. So you can purchase this below the video. If you scroll down, it's a third party part that you can purchase, but this is basically just two wires encased in a common casing. So it's got a red and a black wire on the inside of this casing. Um, we're gonna need some of that. And then um, this is three conductor wire, same concept as a two conductor wire, except there's three wires on the inside of this casing instead of two. This is only necessary if you're gonna put in the strip tail stop leds on the headache rack of your bed so if you're not putting these in um, you don't need the three conductor wire but otherwise you're going to um, these are the butt connectors we like to use these are marine butt connectors meaning they are heat shrink and waterproof these are just perform better over time because they won't get corroded when your tires throw water on your connections so we like to use these these are below the video page if you want to purchase these um, so obviously you're going to need some sort of wire connection that's what we like to use and if you do use the heat shrink ones you're going to need some sort of heat gun a butane torch will also work um, but just when you do your connections to heat shrink your butt connector also going to need um, some sort of wire hook so this is just a coat hanger that's straightened with a little hook at the end uh, this is going to be really handy for pulling your wire out of holes so just any sort of fairly stiff wire with a hook on it that's going to make your job a lot easier all right, so this video is just going to be an example of how to properly butt connect things together. So um, I just want to show you this because there's going to be several times when we're wiring the flatbed that um, you're going to need to butt connect things together. So I'm just going to do a close up video here so you know exactly how we do it. Um, we just found this to be the best way to last for a long time. So um, I'm just going to show you an example. So if we got two wires that we need to twist together and put a butt connector on, um, I'm just going to show you that. So first thing we need to do obviously is strip it. So I got my wire stripping pliers here. Use a stripper that matches the gauge of wire that you're, um, that you're stripping. So if it's 16 gauge wire, use a 16 gauge stripping channel to strip your wire. Um, and then you're going to strip them down bare like this, twist them together. And then um, we're going to, the best way to do this is actually twist your butt connector onto your two wires. That way it continues to twist together your connection, makes it nice and tight. Then we're going to crimp it. Um, so I'm going to crimp it and it's going to pinch the wire inside of there. And then these are heat shrink butt connectors if you use this style of butt connectors. These are below the video page if you want to purchase these. But next thing you do is just heat shrink only this side because um, this is an example if we need to butt connect two wires together on this end. And then we're also going to do another connection later into this side. But um, so if you're going to butt connect only one side, don't heat shrink both sides, only the side that the wire is already in. So uh, I got a heat gun. You can also use a butane torch but I'm just gonna lightly heat this end of the butt connector and it's gonna shrink this sleeve around my two wires and waterproof it so that corrosion and moisture can't get in there over time. So this is the finished product here. Um, it's heat shrunk on this side, but not this end. So we got our two wires common twisted together on this end and then we would later put in another wire on this end crimp it and then heat shrink this side and that would give us a nice waterproof connection um, that's going to last for a long time so when we go through the video and our butt connecting things together this is the process we use um, and then obviously this is pretty much impossible to pull out because this side is melted around these wires and it's nice and waterproof so just wanted to give that as an example for when we do that on the actual bed. Once you have all your tools and equipment together, the next thing we're gonna need to do is just install 
almost all of our lights. So just pop in your tail lights, bolt in your backup lights, bolt in your cab rack work lights, um, and also install all of the side markers. The only things you're not going to install in terms of lights is your cab rack markers. Um, if you have a if you have a marker up on the cab rack, or if you have the strip stop turn um, tail light LED strip on your headache rack, you're not going to install that either. Um, but aside from that, we're going to install everything. So just pop in your tail lights, bolt in your backup lights, all your markers. Um, so the easiest way to install your markers is make sure this is a, you have a rubber mallet. Don't use metal or your shadow your markers. But you can just kind of get them started in the hole and just tap them in with your rubber mallet and that works really good. And then you're just going to pop your wiring all the way through so it's poking in on the inside. Um, so get all your lights popped in except for your markers on your headache rack and if you're doing a strip stop tail light up on your headache rack don't install that yet either. All right so the first thing we're going to do in terms of wiring is we're going to run some two conductor wire so it's your wire with two wires on the inside of the casing. We're going to start by running it in this top uh, marker hole if you have this marker hole here you're going to run it in the top down the tube and then it's going to go down through our light hole we cut underneath the headache rack where it intersects with the outer frame and then out this wiring hole down here so it goes from the top wiring or the top marker hole and comes out down here then you're going to give yourself about 10 inches of extra once you come out the bottom here so coming back up here um, the best way to tie this off so it doesn't fall in is just double it back on the outside of your tube and then wrap a couple wraps of electrical tape around there just to hold it in place. So you're going to do that on both sides. Um, a couple things that you might run into, you might have an issue when you run it in here and down it might hang up at the bottom and not want to poke through the wiring hole down here. A couple ways you can mitigate that is you can um, take the end of your wire and wrap it around some welding wire. So just get some wire out of your actual welder wrap it around like that um, and then you can kind of use this to thread the needle poke this through all the way down and out it's going to be easier to poke out the bottom than the actual wire and then you can pull it out so that's one way to do it or you can run it uphill and then use your wiring hook to reach in here and grab it and pull it out so either of those between those two things you should be able to get that done so go ahead and repeat that for both sides and then we'll move on to the next thing the next thing we're going to do after we have our two conductor wire ran in our top marker hole down and out is we're going to run some three conductor wire only if you're going to be installing these strip stop um, turn LED lights up here. If you're not, you can skip this step. But if you are, we're going to run some three conductor wire in our front hole here that we should have cut before we went to powder coat. We're going to run it down the tube and out the same place as we just ran our two conductor wire. And then we're going to give ourselves enough to go all the way to the back plus about two feet um, and then we're just gonna later on we're gonna tie these into our tail lights so the the blinker and brake lights and running lights are all tied in with the same the same wire so go ahead and do that for both sides um, okay so the next thing we need to do is we're gonna run some two conductor wires so there's your wire with two wires in it um, we're gonna run this starting at the front up here give yourself about a coil at the front I'm at the front passenger side and then we're gonna run two conductor wire one continuous strand all the way around the edge in your wiring hangers once you get up here there's two wiring hooks up here by your tail lights do a wrap around that just to give yourself some extra slack um, and then come up here to the center wiring light wiring hanger do a small coil around that to give ourselves a little extra same thing over here wrap a coil around here and then all the way up the driver's side as well and then give yourself a little bit of extra at the front too. Um, this is gonna be our running light wire, so it's got a hot and a ground wire that's gonna run continuously all the way around. And then eventually we're gonna tie in all of our markers and our tail lights into this, so when our running lights of our pickup are on, heats up this entire wire, heats up all of our lights. But um, just get that done, one continuous wire, start at the front, go all the way around, couple coils around your your hangers and then all the way up here all right so um, I know this is a little confusing to look at but I'm gonna explain what has happened here so this is our two conductor wire that we ran all the way along the outside um, at the beginning of the wiring process so what I've done here is I've actually cut this two conductor wire right above these lights and then I've 
twisted together my two red wires that were inside the two conductor wire here and then I've twisted together my two black wires that were in the two conductor wire here and then I have connected those with so so um, this is going to be the common wire that runs all the way around the outside that is going to power our tail lights and all our marker lights so when your tail lights or running lights are on on your pickup um, this red wire is going to be hot and this black wire is going to be our common ground. So um, what I've done here is I've wired these red wires into the hot wires of our tail lights. So the black wires on your tail lights are going to need to be connected to the red wires of your two conductor wire that runs around the outside. And then the white wires of your tail lights, so these two white wires come from my tail lights, are going to be connected to the two black wires that run around in our two conductor wire. That way that our ground wires of our tail lights are connected to the ground wire of our two conductor wire and our tail light hot wire from our tail lights is connected to our hot wire of our two conductor wire. So red two conductor wire to black tail light wires and black two conductor wire to white tail light wires. Um, some of you might be confused by this wire here this wire is only going to exist if you have the strip lights on your headache rack. So if you don't have the strip lights, you're not going to have this wire, so just ignore this being here. If you do, um, the last part of the video went over how, we're, how we wired all these together. So again, um, this looks complicated, but it really isn't. You're just going to cut your two conductor wire. You're going to wire your two red wires that were inside of your two conductor wire and hook them to your black wires of your tail lights and you're going to hook your two black wires that are in your two conductor wire into the two white wires of your tail lights. So repeat this for both sides um, and then we will go over the next thing. And then here um, we're going to leave our red wire free because this red wire that goes to our tail lights and also your three conductor wire if you have the strip tail lights on your headache rack is going to power your blinker and brake light. So we're not going to do anything with this until we set the bed on the pickup and then we're just going to hook this to our hot wire of our brake and um, turn signal light. So just leave, this is just going to stay just like this until we put it on the pickup. These two wires should look like this. Okay, so this section is how to wire your tail lights together if you are going to put these lights on your headache rack. So if you're not going to put these lights on, watch the previous section of this video. Um, but if you are, this is what you're going to do. So um, here is my three conductor wire that we ran earlier in the video. Your two conductor wire should also be ran around the outside. I just have it out of the way for this um, video. So what I've done with this three conductor wire is it, it runs out the bottom of our headache rack up front and I ran all the way down the frame back to here and I zip tied it here so it doesn't slip back and forth. Um, so what you're going to do is we're going to do the same thing as we would have done if you didn't have this but we're just going to add these three wires from our three conductor wire into the mix. So it, it ultimately doesn't matter what color of wire from your three conductor wire goes with which one. Um, what matters is how you hook this up on the other end. Um, so if your three conductor wire does have light colors, so my three conductor wire has a black wire, a red wire, and a green wire, I'm just going to put the black wire in with the two black wires from my tail lights, and I'm going to put the red wire in with my two red wires from my tail lights, and then um, my green wire doesn't match with any of the colors, so I'm just going to put that in with the white wire. Um, so you need to make your tail lights look like this on both sides if you are putting in these lights on your headache rack. Um, so just wire your light colors together if you can, but ultimately it doesn't matter. It's only going to matter when we wire this in on the other end. So repeat this on both sides. Um, and also if you haven't done so yet, you need to wire together your light colored wires on your three marker lights back here. Um, so I got all my black wires wired together into a butt connector, all my white wires wired together into a butt connector. So do that here, obviously wire both sides of your tail lights like we just talked about, and then that part will be complete. Okay, so moving on, these are our, our three marker lights. This is the back side of the tail. Um, and what I have in my hand here is the two conductor wire that has ran all the way around the outside edge. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to cut our two conductor wire like I've already done here. Um, and then put our two black wires from our two conductor wire and hook them to our white wires from our marker lights. And then hook our two red wires from our two conductor wires into the black wires of our marker lights. So 
black to white and red to black. Um, so you need to make it look like this. Um, this is just going to hook our running light wires into our marker lights and then we'll move on to the side markers. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to wire in all of our markers. So I'm at the back driver's side corner of the bed here. This is my rear marker. Um, the corner of the bed's right here. So this is the inside that you're looking at. So my marker light is popped in on the outside of this tube and it, the wiring runs in and this is the marker wiring right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our two conductor wire. This is the one that runs around the outside edge and we're going to hook our our black wires of our two conductor wire to the white wire of the marker and our red wires of our two conductor wire to the black wire of the marker. And we're going to do this for all of our markers on the sides of the bed. Um, start at the back and move forward because you're going to have some extra slack in your two conductor wire up at the front of the bed. So if you need any extra slack, you can pull it from the front. You don't want to start at the front and move back. So start at the back. Um, just hook in all of your markers like this. Make sure black to white, red to black. And uh, just repeat that for all three of your markers on the side of the bed for both sides. Um, I'm up here at the front driver's side corner and I'm wiring in this marker right here. The wires are poking through the inside of the frame here. I've already got the um, two other ones that are on the side of the bed done. So this is just the front marker. So when you get up here, you should come to the end of your wire. This is the two conductor wire that we ran all the way around the outside edge. And then this right here is the first wire we ran at the start of this entire video. This is the short um, two conductor wire that starts in the headache rack marker hole and runs down and out right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these two wires. Um, so we're going to wire the two red wires together. We're also gonna wire the two black wires together and then put a butt connector on those. And then we're gonna hook it to our marker. So I'm gonna get these butt connected and hooked to the marker and I'll show you what the completed um, what the completed wiring should look like for this. So this is what we're going for. Same deal as all the other markers, but this was our wire that ran all the way around the edge. This was our short two conductor wire we ran at the beginning of the video from the headache rack marker. We just connected the two red wires from our two conductor wire together and our two black wires from our two conductor wire together and we hooked it into our marker. So this joins these two wires together and um, into one continuous circuit. So repeat that on the other side on the front one. Um, it's the same concept as all the other markers but just um, making it clear that we connect the two wires together in this manner. So it should just look like this at the end. Part of the marker wiring process is after we've got our three on our side wired in, um, we're gonna come up here and wire in this one on the top of the headache rack. So um, this wire was taped up right here so it didn't fall back in. This is the first two conductor wire we ran in the, f in the beginning part of the video. We're just gonna hook this to a marker light and uh, like just like the, all the other markers, red wire of your two conductor um, wire is gonna be hooked to the black wire of the marker and the black wire of your two conductor wire is gonna be hooked to the white wire of the marker. So um, eventually after we hook this up and test it, after that we're just gonna jam all this in the hole and pop the marker in, but leave it hanging out for the moment. It's better to test everything before you shove everything in where it needs to be in case you hooked something up backwards and it needs adjusted. So um, just do this for both sides, get your marker hooked up, but don't install it yet and then um, we'll be able to move to the next step of the process. Okay, so the next thing on the list, we're back here on the back center. Um, we need to wire in our license plate lights. So I got my license plate lights. This is the back side, obviously. Each of the license plate lights has a small red wire and a small black wire coming from it. So the first thing we need to do is wire our two red wires from each of our license plate lights together and put them in a butt connector like I've done here. And also our two black wires from both of our license plate lights together and put them in a butt connector here. So on the other end, we're just going to wire the red and the black into the red and the black wire of our two conductor wire that runs all the way around the edge. This is the same wire we hooked these marker lights into and all the other marker lights. Um, so our black wires from our two conductor wire is gonna hook into the black wires of our license plate lights. And in the same way, our red wires from our um, two conductor wire is gonna hook into our red wires of our license plate lights. Um, another thing we need to do is we need to make a junction entry point on our two conductor wire that we've been um, hooking all our markers and tail lights into. This is the two conductor wire that I'm holding in my hand that runs all the way around the edge. So the last thing we're needing to do on this wire is we're going to cut it and I'm a, 
on the um, driver's side, a little bit inside of my tail light. So just cut it right here, make it an entry point for your black wire. So just put your two black wires together into a butt connector and your two red wires together into a butt connector. We're gonna hook our hot tail light wire from our pickup into this red wire and our ground into this black wire from our pickup. So get this done and then we're about done with wiring. Okay, so this portion of the video is only for the people that are installing the strip uh, stop turn tail lights on their headache rack. If you are, you should have some three conductor wire coming out of this hole that we've ran down the side already. Um, so this is just gonna go over how to hook this up. So um, depending on what three conductor wire you have, my three conductor wire has a red, a black, and a green wire. Um, but the only thing that really matters here is that your um, colored wires on your actual tail light. So these wires here, coordinate with the color of wire that this other end of this wire is hooked to on the back. So for example, my green wire on the back side where it hooks into the tail light is hooked to the white wire. So my green wire here is hooked to the white wire on this light because on the other end of this wire, this green wire is also hooked to the white, the white wire of that light. So this is gonna be your ground wire. Um, the white wire is always ground. The black wire is your tail light and then the red wire is your stop slash turn signal. So um, you just need to make sure, like I said, that the color of the connection here is the same as on the back. So on the back, I have red wire running to the red wire. So I got red wire running the red wire here. I also have black wire going to the black wire. So I have black wire going to the black wire here and then green wire to white wire. So I've done the same thing here. So um, get it connected. And before you put this in and install it, test it both your tail lights and also your brake lights and it should light up this um, when you hook up your your brake lights and your tail lights if it doesn't it means something in your connection is wrong um, and you need to check that but just make sure that the color coordination here is the same on this end as it is on the back end and that will ensure that this lights up at the correct time so get this hooked up test it before you put it in and make sure that everything works. Once it does, um, you can just put all of your wiring, poke it in this hole, and then um, it's gonna just mount to here. And then the way that, the best way, the easiest way to mount this is just get this poked in your hole here, and then use self-tapping screws to just screw this to your frame. Okay, so this is gonna be how to wire in our LED cab lights. Um, this is the front side of the bed. This is gonna be against the cab. So we're gonna use two conductor wire. We're gonna start by running the two conductor wire in this light hole up here, run it on the inside of the tube all the way across, bring it out and then down this tube. We're gonna run it all the way down through our light hole that's at the bottom inside of this tube and then out the inside where the rest of our wires come out. So um, this is the end of this wire that's hooked to my two lights here. Give yourself about 15 feet. I don't have 15 feet here, but you wanna give yourself about 15 feet so you can run this all the way to the cab um, to either the switch or the battery. So um, get this done. I have the end of this two conductor wire, um, the red wire of the two conductor wire hooked to the red wire of my light, the black wire of the two conductor wire hooked to the black wire of my light. And then same thing here, there should be a loop that comes out. You're gonna cut that loop um, hook your two black wires together and one end of the butt connector. Hook your two red wires together on the one end of the butt connector and then hook the corresponding colored wire from the light into those wires. Once you have it all hooked up, um, you're gonna wanna test this. So hook your red wire to your positive terminal of your battery and your black wire to the negative terminal and make sure both of them work. And then if both of them work, you're good to go. At this point, you should be ready to test your connections. So. Um, this is our junction point from our pickup for our running slash tail lights. This is going to heat up all of our markers and tail lights. So our red wire um, is going to hook to our hot tail light wire from our pickup and our black wire is going to hook to the ground wire of our pickup. And then also on both sides, this is just the driver's side shown here, but on both sides you're going to have um, a red wire junction here and this is going to hook up your hot wire from your pickup that heats up your turn signals and brake lights. So ground, hot wire for your tail and running lights, and then hot wire for your brake lights and turn signals. So to test this, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need either a car battery or a battery charger and some jumper wires. And um, I have a red and a black jumper wire. So this black jumper wire is gonna be hooked to the negative terminal of the car battery. This red wire is gonna be hooked to the positive terminal of the car battery. 
And then what we're going to do is I'm going to hook up this black jumper wire, which is the ground, to the ground or black wire junction here, and the red wire to the red wire junction here. And when I do that, it should light up all of your tail lights, which should be all of your marker lights and your tail lights. Um, so if, if you can hook this up and all those work, then that means all your connections are good, everything's hooked up correctly. If they don't, there's a few things that you need to check. Your wires could be hooked up backwards. You could have the wrong wire hooked to the wrong. Um, you, could have, you could have your hot wire hooked to your ground or your ground hooked to your hot. Um, so you just need to check all your connections if any of the lights don't work. Um, so once they all are working on the tail light side, you also need to check on both sides. This is just the driver's side here, but you're going to need to also check on the passenger side. Um, when your ground wire is hooked up, so my black jumper wire to the black wire on my junction here, you can hook up this hot wire to your turn signals and your brake lights, and it should light up only the bright part of your tail lights. So if you can hook these up and the bright part of your tail lights turns on, then your connection is good, but you also need to check on the other side as well. So once you check both of those two things, your running lights and your brake lights, um, and everything's working, we are ready to go and install this thing. If not, obviously you got to check your connections and make sure that everything is correct. All right, so the last thing we're going to do, uh, after you got everything hooked up and you've tested everything, all of your tail lights, brake lights, turn signals work, is we're just going to zip tie everything up nice and tight. So on all the marker lights, you're just going to put all of the wiring that's extra into the hole and then zip tie it tightly against all of these wiring hangers. So just kind of work your way back, zip tie and everything, make sure it's nice and tight. Um, same here on the back, you can kind of bundle everything up, zip tie it together. But again, don't do this until you have everything tested. There's nothing more aggravating than getting this all zip tied together and some of your lights not working and have to tear it all apart. So um, this is just the last thing that you do is zip tie everything. Um, make sure everything's ready to go on your pickup. Uh, make sure that your, your hookup for your tail lights down here are accessible for when you put it on the pickup. Make sure your brake lights and turn signal wire hookup is accessible on this side as well as the other side. And then um, this thing is wired up and we're ready to actually set it on the pickup. So great work.